Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's a special New Year's Day edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Alex Smith and the Washington football team. We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Washington football team. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Danny Johnson on the return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be led out by a man who's taken a long and courageous road back to the NFL, their veteran quarterback, Alex Smith. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, Smith. That'll be caught. It's Steven Sims. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. A gain of six there on first. Gardner's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. From the 50, it's Smith. Slings this deep from McLaurin. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and 
what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. Miles Sanders' first carry of the game. Miles and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, it's Hurts. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. First and ten, it's Sanders. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. It's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A shotgun snap for Smith. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin. That'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. again Smith and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 12 yards there and a first down that's a good looking play to me the big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward can he yeah he can indeed and pretty well executed there Smith on first down off to Thomas on the left side. 
And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. He's got... Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. But look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the gun, here's Smith. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here's Tressway now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this return. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. Justin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Miles Sanders. The well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second down. Here's Hurts. 
caught by the tight end Ertz. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Brings up third and four. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Sets up a good play on the ball, getting a hand on it, but it was tipped up in the air before falling incomplete. And that leads to way too many moments where bad things can happen for a defense and good things can happen for an offense. And this is tough to teach in today's football because everyone wants to make a highlight play. Tip it up in the air, grab it yourself, take it the other way. But sometimes that can backfire. How do you teach these guys to just make the good, solid, fundamental play of knocking it to the ground and not trying to make a highlight real play that could backfire? Now we get another look at Washington on offense. They've had it twice, they've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll run on first down. Gibson. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. This a second and seven from the 37. Operating from the gun, Smith throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and it'll bring up third down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Smith is going to find his running back. It's complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced a dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. It hasn't gone particularly well for them, that's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Deron Payne, the big deep tackle there to make the stop. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him picks up three on that carry. Here's second and seven now from the 28. 
They'll run. It's Sanders. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Throwing his hurts. And he'll complete this one to Fulgham. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. Here's Hurts. His throw incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Hurts. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Now Sean Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control, and you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. But first down, Hurts rolling to his left. He'll try and run it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. Second and six. Hurts sets up to throw it. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. It's 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. 35-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Steps away. He's going to take off with it. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 in the first. The Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence, haven't allowed a point yet, flying to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Caught right 
right side, it's Jeffrey. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. And Jeffrey's got it. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. This will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yard. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Tie ball game. Still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here and try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, You've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. On first and 10, Smith. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Operating from the gun, Smith. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw again. Smith. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, Smith. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Here comes Rager. 35 yards that time on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. Couple completions, you string them together, could get into field goal range. Let's see what happens.
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. First and 10, it's Hurts. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 44 yards out, left hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. The score, Eagles 10, Washington 7. So we will not go into the locker's time. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points, doesn't seem like much. Six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Danny Johnson returning. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. 
Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Now both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Intercepted by Washington. They'll take over. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Here's Smith, and his throw is going to be incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Second and ten, Smith again. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. chance of wasting this great starting field position a real threat this is third and long out of the gun Smith under pressure again and down he goes again Derek Barnett his second sack of the night that's the second sack of the game the best defensive ends they do their homework as much as offensive guys do they know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them what moves they need to do to set them up this guy's been pretty good at it all game long. So now on fourth down, Washington will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It'll be a 51-yard attempt. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And that will knot us up at 10. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Dustin so a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Eagles take over first and 10. 
at their own 20. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. And he'll drop here to throw. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and 10 now from the 27. From the gun, it's Hurts, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. He can run for it, and he will. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Sanders. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse. And I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And they run the option on second down. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And this returnable for Sims. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. On first down. It's Gibson, and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Gibson, the ball carrier. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier.
Throwing on second and eight. Smith. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. A shotgun snap for Smith. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they'll get him down at about the 37. Well short of the first. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Tressway now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. They'll contain him to just four, second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Catch made by Fulgham. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Knotted up here at 10. That's our score as we begin quarter number four. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Intended for Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. At the 48-yard line. Throwing his hurts. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pickup there, 21 yards. More yards. That's another Eagles first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Throw now on first down. 
Throw left side complete. It's Sanders. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Over the middle, it's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. It's 15-yard line. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30, so now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Hurts. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Eagles have moved out in front. They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes, as he's able to get into the end zone. Are you saying he's got to learn where the line is about whether you keep your eyes downfield, try to find a receiver, or you tuck it and go? And I think he's there's going to be some growing pains with that. I think in this case, he made the right decision. And we know he's got the speed. He showed it there. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drive goes eight plays. And works in a four-yard touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own. So out Washington's offense to take over. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Smith. Steps away to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. On first down, it's Smith. 
And he'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Smith on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. On first down, Smith. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Smith's and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a gain of eight. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And now here's Inman bringing in the pass. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From the red zone now, Smith. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling. Back to throw. Buying time to his left. And now... And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Touchdown, Taking it in from seven yards away. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here. But if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. This is taken just shy of the 10. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Room to run at the 50. Well, so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big-time return to seize the momentum back. And out now come the Eagles. They're on the outskirts of field goal range here in a tie game with a little time. So how do you handle this? What, what do you do here, Charles? Everybody wants to pick up as much yardage as possible. But the weird part is for field goal kickers, being in really close sometimes puts more pressure on them because it's much more of a position kick as opposed to just going ahead and letting it out and letting it thump. A lot of guys like a little bit of distance because you know they can handle it and it's a more natural swing of the leg. So maybe getting inside the 20, not that big of a deal. Not that huge of a deal. Sometimes that messes you up with the angles depending on which hash mark you're kicking from. Now Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game.
So from the 36 now, first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Another run here with Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. first down it's Sanders now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game here's second and nine just a yard on that last run They'll run with Sanders. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. I think we saw the strategy there, how they moved it to the left hash. So they can line things up for them to kick the field goal. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. Footing obviously an issue in the driving rain. This one for the win. And his kick is good. Despite the rainstorm, a good snap, a good hold. And the kick went through. And the Eagles are going to win the football game. A little drama there at the end, but really the Sears already decided the late points get scored in there. It ends on the kicker. And I'm right there with you, partner. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.